I'm literally trying to picture it. I don't see images in my brain, by the way. Just saying, because I know some people do and I'm just like lucky. It's just like, I can't see it, but I know what I'm imagining, if that makes sense. So are you daydreaming sometimes if you don't see images in your head? I don't know what that means. How do I explain it? Okay, so if you guys close your eyes right now and I say, envision a red apple. I can't do that. Can you envision a Domino's pizza? What other foods can you not imagine? Uh, why does it even matter if you can or cannot see images in your head? What, what, is that, what does that even imply there, Amber? What is that supposed to tell me? Like, you, is this another unique quirk or trait that you think somehow adds to your character roster? Like, when you were choosing your character, <laughs> when you were choosing your character, is this one of the backstory pieces? Is this something we put on the Wikipedia page? Amberlynn Reed, when closing eyes and thinking about things, cannot see what she imagines. Why does it matter? I don't understand. What is even the point of this, dude? It's just, I, for some reason... Amberlynn Reed is literally a culmination of whatever she sees or hears about at that particular time. So a few years back, it was like really, really common for people to be tweeting or on Facebook posts uh, about like the holes. You remember the holes, like the big holes that you'd see in stuff and people would go, oh, it's because they have this like whatever trigophobia or whatever it's called. And then suddenly over the period of like a month, everybody had this, this sickness, this illness of like seeing holes and then deducing that they have some kind of illness to it, which nobody had ever heard of this thing before this one post. And then because of that, it blew up. It's kind of like how everybody kept saying demure and cutesy. It's like that. It's like everybody started saying this shit because it was fashionable and somebody said it somewhere and then it like spread like herpes, right? So the same thing can be said for the Amber. Um, she doesn't have an actual personality, it seems like, and it's really, really jarring to see it because anytime she talks about shit, uh, it's never her own stuff. It's always what other people say. And then she projects that outward as if she's like some kind of um, giant sponge giant sponge for the internet and whatever you throw at her she will inevitably absorb including for food and then she'll be that thing for like maybe a week or two weeks and i understand it's there's probably a lot of value in not being yourself there is probably a lot of value in going i don't have to work on myself because i can just find other things and that will be a part of me that's crazy though like you're <laughs> she has absolutely nothing to contribute to herself she is actually what everybody else is and we all knew that whenever she dates somebody, she is literally that entire person's personality, um, which is very, very sad. I, it, it just kind of, I guess it's just people tell me it's probably a trait from BPD or the fact that she never got a hug when she was a child or something like that. I don't fucking know. I don't claim to know. But it, it really doesn't matter. It's very cringy and it makes me upset. Close your eyes and imagine a red apple. Now open them and look at this chart. Sad. Which one of these numbers would you say lines up with what you saw in your mind? Or if I'm like, okay... Everyone close your eyes and think of an alligator. No on, way she copied that exact thing, dude. No way. On a log. Like, I can't envision that. Like, I just have black in my brain. And I also, or my mind, <laughs> I also don't have words. And I know a lot of people do, and I'm just But like, who the fuck cares? Like, what is the relevance of this, dude? Why Is anybody watching this and going, oh my god, Amber is so deep. Because when she closes her eyes, she sees darkness. She sees black. <laughs> Sometimes I do too, Amber. Uh -huh. Like, what? It's like when I think, I know that I'm thinking, but there is no, like, voice in there. And the people who have a voice and, like, who gets to see images, like, that must be so fucking awesome. Because... Amber, why why is this something that you even want? Why why does it even matter if this was true? Why are you so not a human being? Why do you have to have everybody else be who you are? Why can't you just be your own person for one time in your entire life? Just your own person, bro. It's just, it's interesting to watch a movie and see an actor and go like, ah, oh, I really want to be that guy. I really want to be that character. I really want to be that. Maybe you acted out for like a day. Uh, maybe you RP it with you and your girlfriend. You're in the bedroom together and like, I don't know. Hey, I'm Ash Ketchum and your vagina is the Pokeball. Catch my meat. I don't know. There could be a whole bunch of things that you can do um, role playing wise, but that doesn't necessarily mean that contributes to IRL stuff, right? I know personally, whenever I'm watching uh, Star Wars episode two and I see Django Fett, I'm thinking, oh man. 
Oh, that Mandalorian armor just looks so good. I just wish I could probably, I just wish I could buy some and just walk around town with that stuff because I knew it would look good. It would look so delicious just walking around like that. But I know that when I walk outside like that, people are going to look at me different. Kind of like, for instance, you know, maybe you are a person that can walk around in bra and panties and nobody would ever look at you differently. Like if you went to the beach in a bikini, you would probably look okay. Nobody would ever say anything to you. If I went to the beach and I wore my bra and panties or like my bikini outfit, people will look at me and go, what the fuck? What is wrong with this guy? This guy is weird. This guy is super fucking disgusting. Oh my God, his meat is hanging out the side of his leg. That's what they would say about me. Certain people could do certain things, but I have no idea. Uh, why Amber Lynn has to be everyone else and never herself. Because I'm living dark up here. I don't see anything. I don't hear anything. I just know that I'm thinking. And I know what I am thinking of. Okay. Like, I, I, who asked you for this shit? Like, what is even the purpose of even talking about this stuff? As if it adds to the character traits, man. Without hearing it or seeing it. <laughs> where did you put your, uh, when you made your character, right? Uh, where did you allocate your points? You must have added it all, obviously, to carry weight, naturally, obviously, I see it all. You must have literally put all the points in carry weight, literally, the entire fucking, all the points, just 100%, never over encumbered. And then what? You probably negative some points in intelligence, naturally. <laughs> so if the intelligence stat was default 5, which is average, you must have put that down to a 2 or maybe even a 1.5. I don't know how you were able to do that. And that's really it. Maybe durability on 10 as well, uh, but I can't even say that since your body is literally destroying itself year by year so hard to explain that to people who don't have no we we all understand when you close your eyes you don't see images when you think of stuff which is fine i don't even like i that's i don't give a fuck i i, I don't even i've never i've never even heard of somebody saying this before i don't even understand the relevance of it why does it matter i don't know is there some kind of like implication there what is the implication is it are you smarter if you could look at the red apple in your head or are you smarter if you can't because you're you're metabraining it and because you're not actually seeing the image you can idea idealize the image or i don't fucking know i don't i don't get it i don't even understand what the purpose of this is I have that same situation going on i remember laying there like i woke that makes sense yeah i remember that yeah that, that that makes sense woke up and like i physically couldn't move and then i felt something like tickle my finger like feline it was Feline, dude. Feline was tickling your finger. Maybe something was tickling her finger. Who knows, bro? I don't know, dude. What the? What even is this? H sleep hallucinations? What are the chances of people even having this happen? I've talked to a lot of people in my entire life, and I've never heard of anybody say that they had that thing where they they woke up in the middle of the night and they saw something or whatever the fuck, like uh, or like a sleep paralysis demon or some shit like that. Like I, what what what, what, what does it matter? What do you? Why do? You, why is this so? Go ahead, like, Amber. I physically couldn't move. Yeah. And then I felt something like- Probably because of gravity, right? Like tickle my finger. Like it literally felt like someone was tickling my finger, but okay. I was by myself. And it freaked me out so bad, but like I remember instantly falling asleep. And then I started talking, like, it's something that you guys don't know about me, so random fact, hi. I have always hallucinated in my sleep. Like this has been going on since I was like four years old. I still remember the first time it happened. Where are your eyebrows at, dude? How's your face so bald? Um. I imagine like a hallucinated like a green purse and from that point on I would say like once a month I'll wake up in the middle of the night and there'll be like a cool design on the ceiling or like a huge spider or like a skeleton like sometimes some scary stuff but nine times out of ten it's usually like a really cool design like moving so that's like a random fact and it's always been so normal for me that like when I tell people and they like think I'm crazy, I'm like, well, I don't get it. Like, Why? Why is this something that you even want to have? When I used to work retail, right? When I used to work at retail, I used to be a cashier consistently because I really sucked at any other position at this, whatever, you know, in, in, in general, I really sucked at any position. But I was okay on cash register. I knew how to do math pretty well. And most of the machine did the math for you and you could talk to customers. And I really liked ultimately talking to people. So it was a benefit to me. But... I used to cashier for eight, eight hours a day, sometimes even 10, depending on, depending on um, if somebody called out or whatever, but I would cashier for a long period of time. And what used to happen to me was I would go to sleep and I'd find myself in the middle of the night, literally sitting up in my bed. And I would just like, I would be cash registering. I'd be checking people out in my, in my sleep. Like I'd be, I'd be like fully erect, hold up, fully erect. Like I'd be sitting up doing this and then i'd be like what the fuck am i doing right now dude what the fuck i'm literally sleeping right now this is fucking bizarre and then i put my head back to the pillow but i would do that 
uh, probably for months, for months I would do that. Like not frequently, maybe like once a month this would happen. Um, or once every, or two, every, two times every month, I would have this happen to me. And it was so fucking weird. And if you ask any people that I've dated before, um, I've, I, I do sleepwalk, right? I do wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and I'll just, I don't know, turn on a light or like look around. I don't know. Like people tell me it's fucking weird or whatever. Um, and I don't know, dude, it's fucking, I, I really don't like that. I have that ability to wake up in the middle of the night and jump out of my fucking bed and, you know, look around my room to see if there's something around me or something like that. Like, I don't like, it. I really don't like it. And it's really concerning for the people that I've slept with. Um, but one thing they can never, con they can never be concerned about is me snoring because I don't snore. I refuse to be around anybody that snores in general. And every, anytime you ever see me sleeping next to you, guess what I'm doing? I'm putting my pillow underneath my jaw, sorry, putting my blankets underneath my jaw. I'm making sure my nose is the correct passageway for the air to be circulating and not my mouth because I think mouth breathing is non-meta. Anybody that breathes through the mouth is weird. Me personally, I breathe through the nostrils, through my nose, with my mouth, not so much. I put, I do other things with my mouth. Anyway. Well, I don't understand because it's it's been like a normal. I thought everyone experienced that. What the fuck are you talking about, Amber? Nobody who who the fuck who the fuck thought it was normal to wake up and see spiders and that like that the telephone the telescope thing. You know the telescope thing when you were a kid, you could turn it and see different designs. I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. N nobody ever said that was normal. You never had a conversation with anybody before ever where somebody said that shit was normal. The fact that you're saying this right now is so ridiculous and the fact that you think this is normal like you shut the fuck up dude you're, you're you're not that girl and so i don't vocalize it so much but the few I proceeds to make an entire video about it people i have told they're like no like that doesn't happen to me so i'm just wondering like does that happen to you guys no it doesn't and you're weird for that happening it's like it doesn't happen though amber just making this up so that way she can have more character traits because it doesn't happen amber to being amber my babe over there oh it's just even grosser knowing that they're broken up and that she doesn't like her and that uh, Feline had to deal with a whole bunch of bullshit apparently and had to lift up Amber off the floor, right? I, there was a, I think I saw a video of Amber saying that she was on the floor and if, if Feline wasn't there to help her, then she would not have physically been able to get off the floor, which is crazy. So, like, what does that make? Like, does what does that mean? Like, You're fat. Like, if that's not normal. You're big. Like, sleep paralysis is technically the same thing. But I'm not, I don't feel... I mean, I don't you did just say, you just said like, oh, I didn't, I couldn't move. Why are you trying to make it seem like uh, what I'm, what I'm hearing is like, this is like a kid trying to get like, oh, think I'm interesting. Think I'm interesting. I'm not going to directly tell you what it is, but I want you to ask me more questions. So that way you can ask me and I can tell you stuff. Like, hey, shut the fuck up, bro. You're not that guy. You're really not that guy. Why can't you just be your own person? I don't try to move when it happens. I just, oh, whoops. I woke up for a second and. There's a big spider on the wall. I know what that means. So I don't try to move. So I don't know if I'm... Oh, maybe next time it happens, I'll try to move. It could be sleep paralysis. It could be sleep paralysis. Okay, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to test out the waters there. But I... Re I remember, like... It's got to be agonizing being in a relationship with Amber Lynn Reed and even having these types of conversations in general. But I guess I really can't talk at all. I'm really terrible to have conversations with because I'm asking you really weird questions. But, you know, granted, I don't really talk to girls like this. Like, if I'm in a relationship with you, I'm not going to ask you these questions. But the other day, I was asking my guy friend, like, listen, bro. <clears throat> uh, if you could, you know, like, let's say hypothetically, um, P. Diddy came over to your house and you had to receive the Diddy meat. And nobody knew unless nobody knew until 10 years later. So, like, from this point, 2024, 2034, the video came out. And your name was circulated throughout all the lands. Oh, so-and-so took Diddy Dick. That shit was big in his ass. That shit was slamming him. It was crazy. Diddy meat all over, spraying and shit like that. But you got $10,000 a week up until that point. Would you do it? And, you know, obviously you got to ask more questions. How big is it? How, how big is hypothetical Diddy Dick? You know, how, you know, how much meat do I got to receive? Is it more than once? Uh, you know, is there anybody else in the room who's recording it? Is it just him? There's obviously a whole bunch of questions. But I don't usually ask those questions to women because I feel like a lot of girls really can't relate to that. And I feel like most women don't really want to have conversations like that. I don't know. It's kind of like what I'm interested in, though. I don't know, man. It's real sad sometimes when I think about like how not active I how, how not active I am on asking women questions like that because I feel like these are good questions. Well, you said you try to grab the purse. I mean, that was when I was four. Yeah. Like now, it's just like something I'm so used to that it's just like, oh. Where are your cool. eyebrows? 
Um, but I do remember like the, the hardest one for me for some reason, like even though it's something that like happens frequently, it was when I was living in Virginia. It was like the spider was as big as the ceiling. And I remember I hopped up so fast. That's a lie. You know, you know damn well you didn't hop up anywhere and you know that shit wasn't fast. Well, I guess maybe it was relative for her, obviously. And the person I was in bed with was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I was like, oh my God, get the spider. And then they were like, there's nothing there. And I was like, oh, sorry, I was hallucinating. Normally, I, I don't react that way ever. But for some reason, that night. How long have you been with Feline and that never had happened to her? Like, you guys sleep together? Know. It might not. You know, when Becky was dating Amberlynn Reed, she had confessed that uh, there was about a three year stretch. They never had any sex at all. And Becky was severely deprived and she didn't know what to do in that situation. That's really sucked dick, by the way. Can you imagine dating somebody for four years? four to five years and by that two year mark you literally have no sex ever again for that entire stretch of that relationship what is the purpose like don't get me wrong uh there's more to a relationship than sex obviously anal beads lube and things such and so forth like obviously but um sex is a pretty big part of any relationship anybody will tell you that so i think that it was pretty weird that becky had never come out and said like yeah Anne Boleyn we reed would wake up in the middle of the night and she, she would see giant arachnids you know crawling around her fucking room or whatever or uh it, it uh, what's her name dude um destiny or whatever before them people like you never saw anybody say that so it's just really weird that we're seeing this all now i don't know what that's about but yeah anyways tell them how many times i pause the show no okay oh my god last night she was watching good girls yeah. yeah no i don't know about pausing a show but i know for a fact if we're watching a show together dude i'm talking through it 100 percent. a lot of people don't like it recommendation netflix good girls fucking obsessed she I'm this the the physique is at what point do you realize that you don't even know where to where the couch is you know what i'm saying like where is the couch and where are you paused it for i'm not playing four seconds enough for her to get three words out and she paused it again and i literally said what are you doing amber thinks it's so funny because she's like she's thinking like oh my god people are gonna think this is so quirky people are gonna think this is so cool because i have somebody literally telling them telling telling people about me oh my god this is so good Dude, it's, it's cringy it's really fucking cringy bro you, you shut the fuck up <laughs> you guys I think I have adult ADHD. I've been told it before. It is what it is. It's not that great. Um, when I'm watching a show, within a 10 minute radius, you will see me pause it six times. Yeah, definitely ADD. Right off that, 100%. Amber Lynn Reed has ADHD without a without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Why do, why, do, why do so many people nowadays feel like having mental disorders is somehow a flex? Like, it's not, a, it's not a good thing to have a dopamine deficiency. You know that, right? Like, it's not a good thing to never have the ability to focus on something and always have to do something else in order to make that thing satisfying. You do understand that's not a good thing, right? But I know a lot of people out there think it's like a flexing point or it's like really, really cool to be like, oh, yeah, no, I totally have ADHD. It's like my superpower. Why on earth would that ever be a superpower? Have you ever met a child with ADHD that literally can't go to school or like do their own homework because it's like physically impossible for them to look down at their piece of paper for more than 20 seconds and do their work? Like, that's crazy. What are you talking about? It's like, I, it, it, it really spits in the face of people that actually have disorders because it's not a good thing. It's not something you should want to do. It's not also a good thing. To put your child on like Ritalin when they're like seven years old. Like it's, it's not a good thing. But sometimes you got to do shit like that. It just really sucks dick because like Amberlynn Reed thinks these are like character traits. When in reality all they are is just like, you know, you're just gaslighting people to think that it's cool. It's not cool. Like you're just a terrible person. Yeah. Six times. In a ten minute radius. Six signs that you may have. ADHD. Let's see. Adult edition. Okay. I hate this fucking music, by the way. This shit is so sad, man. I fucking hate this shit. Adult spending. Um, not American currency. Cringe, dude. If your money is literally rainbow, get your shit together. Why are your eyebrows? Like, I can see where you plucked them. It's so weird, but you left the top here, like, not plucked. Yeah, it's just, I don't like it. Is, is your face filtered, too? Why do you have poison ivy queefing in your room to make these brand... Whatever, man. Go ahead. Spending money randomly. I guess that's, like, half the population. Losing interest in hobbies. Like skateboarding? Who the fuck is skateboarding? My bad, longboarding. Always late? Never me, never me. If you ever see me, dude, I'm showing up literally an hour early every single time. 
misplacing things. Okay, I, that sounds like what most people do, so I guess everybody has ADD. Scrolling TikToks, but ignoring texts. We're really stretching here, huh? We really stretching here for a minute, huh? Yeah, okay. What else? Walking into a room and forgetting why you're there. Dude, it just kind of sounds like this is normal human being behavior. Just kinda, it, it, does everybody have ADHD or is it just literally, uh, is it just a facade? Is it, it literally, it just sounds like you guys are just making shit up to make it seem like, oh yeah, like maybe everybody has ADD. ADHD, sorry. ADHD like me, ADHD <laughs> Lynn. How come she doesn't talk about this anymore, huh? How come she never talks about having ADHD now? Uh, she seems to be right now in the BPD era. She seems to be blaming everything on the fact that she has BPD. Oh, no, I'm not BPD. But people tell me a lot that she has actually never been diagnosed with it. So I don't even know necessarily if that's even true. So I don't fucking know, dude. Whatever. I've been, I've been told yeah. I got the ADD. But I, like, I've been told ADD, that by ADHD. professionals. But I've never went through the tests. Okay. That's up to me. I know I need to. When I... I went to a doc. I went to a doctor's appointment, and I had asked my doctor if I do have ADHD, and he was like, "I don't know. Like, we're gonna have to go and get it tested or whatever." And he was like, "Okay, um, there's a clinic here that you can go to and you can get tested for it." And uh, when they when they sent me the papers to apply for it, they said they had sent me a PDF, and then I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll just fill it out and send it back to you guys." And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, but make sure you send it back in person." And I'm like what the fuck are you talking about like can you what are you what are you talking about because like here's the thing it's not that i would have sent it back and then been able to do the test no 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 no. it was i had to send it back and then wait for the appointment and i was looking like well can i just email it back oh no so we can't do that like you guys don't have a fucking printer you guys can't print out the fucking pdf like i'll just edit the e i'll just edit the pdf it's, it's all good i can do that and they were like no no you need to give it to us you know print it out this and that it's like e e what the fuck are you doing right well what is that shit and then uh i asked them what kind of insurance do they take they didn't take my insurance so i was like well i guess i'm never gonna do this shit like hey, you guys are you know suck me the fuck off why the fuck you gonna make this shit as hard as humanly possible to try to make it seem like i'm i'm the one with this illness with anything you guys are the ones with the fucking men mental illnesses bro you want me to come over there it, it was a big stack it was like literally like 50 pages of tons and tons of questions and i was looking through the questions and they were bullshit questions bro they were they were talking about shit like oh how often do you apply deodorant what the fuck do you mean how often none i don't i don't think i implied it today and it's crazy too because i have the old spice right right here and i haven't even put it on yet today why do i need to put on deodorant i'm not going anywhere my my armpits are a little bit lubricated as it is right now but they're still unmoisturized enough for me not to really care about it and plus i'm wearing a hoodie nobody's ever going to smell me and then also i'm going nowhere so like there's no purpose for me to even put on the deodorant but they would ask some dumbass questions like that on the thing and i was just like well, i'm not gonna answer this shit it's this fucking bullshit bro it's not worth it none of this shit means anything fuck it bro it is what it is for sure I'm super indecisive. I'm all over the place. It must, this must have been a mean arc for, for Amber Lynn Reed. And then when I decide on something, I like hyper fixate on it. Um, kind of an update on my ADHD, by the way. Um, I am talking to my psychologist about it and we're going to see if I can get assessed because adult ADHD is literally the only thing that makes sense. Just the random, the random symptoms that I'm having and not being able she finds so much value in having illnesses dude it's actually fucking gross focus and it's just it's i don't know it's just been getting worse she looks like she smells bad right here it looks like she hasn't took a shower in a little bit i don't know man you know when you're fatter you have to take showers more frequently for somebody like me i could probably take a few days i feel like nobody would really even notice like even if i wore the same clothes it's not like i really um perspirate very much in my clothes to begin with i could probably wear the same underwear for days in a row and like you would never know obviously because i've never shown you my underwear but you know what i'm saying like it would never really affect me and stuff like that because my underwear don't necessarily smell at all I don't really be busting ass too often i'm not really drinking things that are very very carbonated um i don't drink anything that's actually really carbonated there was a time about two months ago when i accidentally ordered a couple cans of celsius by accident because i was supposed to i was trying to buy uh the boxes of celsius but uh i accidentally bought the cans and it came and i was like ah, i guess i'll drink them anyway so i was just like 200 milligrams about the same it was like 10 calories or something like that so i did drink the cans they were carbonated or whatever but even at that particular time i wasn't really busting a lot of ass i, I mean i might have burped a little bit of times but in general i wasn't really busting a lot of ass i feel like i'm not really a, a much of a gassy person in comparison to other people that i've been around 
that be busting it down pretty frequently, dude. It's actually insane. The amount of people that I've been around. I remember I knew this one girl, she's a very pretty girl, one of the most attractive women I've ever seen. Um, but you would have never known the severe amount of ass bust this woman was like emanating out of her butt cheeks on a daily basis. It was actually insane. Like I would spend literally the entire day with this girl and it would just be crazy. Like it would just be like, hold up, is there anybody around? I was like, what are you talking about? And just pfft, it just, it'd be big too. It'd be like a massive one. It would just come out of nowhere. And I'm like, what the fuck was that? Why does it smell so bad? That shit smells so bad. Like you look so pretty, but your butt cheeks be like really clapping like this. Like out of nowhere, that's just gross. That's disgusting. What the fuck is going on with you? Shit was bad. In the middle of the night, you would just hear that shit just out of nowhere. Like, bro, you ain't gonna tell me? You ain't gonna tell me? Like we're, in the lay we're laying in the same bed. This is fucking this. This is diabolical shit, bro. This sound. This smell like a witch's cauldron. It's absolutely uh, horrid. Um, but it would be crazy because it's not like they were eating anything out of the ordinary. They were just eating what I was eating, you know. And it's like I wasn't busting ass. So what the fuck is your excuse? I don't know, man. That shit had me on my back, though. I was just like thinking about it. Like you really, why? Like you don't even look like you you do that. Why do you, you know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. It's worse. And I think my hyperfixation gets pretty bad too. I don't think she hyperfixates on anything. She might like do that for like one day and then she forgets about it. Which I do not like that at all. And then like mixed with my intrusive thoughts, that's no fun. What is intrusive like... thoughts for you? Like, oh wow, that make chicken be looking so good in my mouth. I just I just need to look in a mirror when I'm body slamming 15 McChickens to really get that craving out my brain. That should be looking too good right now. Just like a mixture of like OCD. At this point, Amberlynn's brain's got to be super smooth, like a freshly opened carton of some Ben and Jerry's. E and anxiety mixed together. Anyways, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so another update I have is my ADHD. As you guys know, I have been wanting to get assessed for that. A year later, you still haven't got assessed, bro? Either do it or don't do it. Why are you even talking about this shit? And I finally have someone calling me. Um, they're supposed to be calling me within like the next five days. They want Five days? Yeah, I right, bro. You better give me a more closed together window than that. Five days, bro? I don't know about to that evaluate shit. evaluate me over the phone to see if I even need to. Over the phone? Take the step. It might be one of those states. I know some states would just hand you out drugs for no, no, no. Oh, you want some of this shit? No problem, bro. Come on over. I'll get you that shit right now. How many you need? You know, can you imagine a doctor asking you how many you need? How much you need today, you think, probably? How much you need? You know, what do you need? Like a 30, a 30, 30 pack today? I mean, we could probably double it. Yeah, a 60, 60 right now. 90? We can do 90 right now. Your insurance will cover it. Step to get assessed because they don't want to just like assess me right off the bat. They would rather evaluate me first. So I'm really excited that I'm finally taking the steps to do that. So I, I wonder how it feels to say that and then actually be lying about it completely. Can you imagine making a video and saying something so untruthful and then right after that be like, so anyway, that's never gonna fucking happen. Let me just go back to eating my Mickey D's that I got chilling right here because I eat this shit in reps. I have an update on my ADHD. As you guys know, I, I feel like I have it. I am almost positive I have it. My psychiatrist thinks I have it. So um, she recommended me to get seen for that. And now you gotta take a lot of Adderall, right? Cause like, doesn't the Adderall work based off body fat percentage or something like that? Is that not how that works? I don't know, I would assume that it would, but like the more mass that you have, the harder it is for the, for the drug to take hold, right? It's like, I don't know, like, is that how it is? No, is that not how it is? I would expect it would be the same thing since like drugs are like that. If you're a big person and you, you take a lot of drugs, like who's that Andre the Giant would have to drink like a whole 24 pack to even feel anything at all. So I wouldn't even, I mean, it's probably like the same thing, right? No, am I wrong? Somebody can let me know to have a lump. But then again, it's a different circumstance, right? Like Andre the Giant wasn't just a big, you know, he had fat on him, but he was also like fucking massive. Wasn't he like eight feet tall or something like that? And I was waiting for a phone call to be evaluated on the phone to even see if I should go to the further steps of being assessed. Well, you should go to the further steps of the steps itself. Which are two completely different things. And I officially- I can't believe you just be drawn in your eyebrows like this, man. I mean, at this point, you might as well just shave them off and just do the Sharpie technique. Sometimes you do see that on black ladies. I don't know why so many black ladies have shiny eyebrows, man. Um, but I do be seeing that quite a bit. I was at the pharmacy the other day, and it was a black lady behind the counter that looked like, uh, I'm a talent, Mary, my Uncle John. Um, yeah, she looked like that dude, um, Stevie Wonder. And I was looking at this this person. I was like, damn. like, And she was like, um, mm, baby, what you need today? What you need today? And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm picking up for somebody, this, this, and this. And I remember as I was telling her, I was like, 
You know, I was like looking at her eyebrows because it was reflecting light and it was hurting my eyes. I was like, oh my God, them things ain't real, huh? And I didn't bring it up naturally. I'm not going to ask her like, yo, how many, how many follicles of hair do you have left on your eyelid? Like above your eye? Like what is, how many you got? Can you count them? Like, do you actually know how many hair, hair follicles there are? I mean, it would have been a kind of an asshole move to ask. I just kind of like let it go. We had the phone call to be evaluated and they said, yes, it does sound like you have it. So Richie. I'm on the schedule to be assessed, but. Was that little Richie? I feel like I'm racist. It goes all the way up until like five months from now. I guess a lot. Yeah, I've been seeing this quite a bit with Amber Lynn Reed. Whenever she says she's about to get like a, a, a some type of procedure or like a doctor's appointment or something like that, I see con consistently for her is she always says, oh, the doctor's appointment's in five months, it's in six months, it's in a year, um, it's in like three months. I see this all the time. And I always think, so you're lying. So you're lying, right? So this is like you just lying. Like, don't get me wrong. Sometimes a doctor's appointment will be out like a month. Two, three, four, five months? What are you crazy, man? What kind of procedure are you getting where you have to wait five, six, seven, eight, nine months? What the fuck you talking about, dude? I'm sure you can get a transgender surgery literally in the same week and you can't even get a beat. You can't even get an ADHD assessment in, in a five fucking months? What are you crazy? A lot of people think they have ADHD. I know it's very common, but I'm not going to be seen to even be assessed for like. Right, trust me, you're going to be seen. I mean, I'm seeing you right now. Under five months. So that. It's crazy. I was not expecting that, but I know some of you- You say it like literally every video. What do you mean you weren't expecting that? have been asking about that, so I wanted to let you guys know. I know people with ADHD also suffer with fixations, and as you guys know, I am possibly- Fixation on McDonald's, boy. Uber Eats. Well, ADHD person, because like I have been told by a therapist, I still haven't gotten assessed. It's like a whole thing. I'm probably going to do that once I move. And as you guys know- like So now that five months turned into- when I move. So now you're not even gonna be seen by that same five monther, huh? All right, all right. Like I was diagnosed with bipolar years ago and even medicated, I would still go through manic episodes. And when that would happen, I would spend a lot of money. I like a lot, things I didn't need. I mean, just an excuse to spend money, right? Like that's basically what I'm hearing right now. Things I would never need. True, Amberlynn Reed, you got that. Do you have ADHD? Yes. Didn't even get diagnosed. Just say yes. This is why a lot of people don't even like trust anything Amberlynn Reed says because she'll say something so blatantly like, oh, I'm gonna get tested or it's gonna happen one day. And then she never does. And then she'll just say, I I got it. I got it. You know I got it. Yeah, I got it. You know how it is. I got that shit, y'all. I got diagnosed? No, but I know I got it. So I got it. That's just how it is for Amberlynn Reed. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its in entirety and or you're here right now, um, leave it down below by typing in haircut. As you guys can see, I have shaved myself, not completely, but I cut my hair off because uh, I was in polls literally the other night. I was like, I'm fucking done with this shit. I'm just, I cut my own hair. I'm not going to go to the Haitian uh, barber anymore. Fuck that shit. I got my own clippers. I'm going to cut my own shit. I don't really give a fuck about my hair, to be honest. Very, uh, I know a lot of dudes put a lot of treasure in the hair, but for me personally, I don't. I don't really care about it. It's actually... Um, a nuisance for me to have long hair because it gets in my face and my eyes and my whatever other parts of your body where hair goes and I su it sucks i hate it i don't like it so i cut my own hair the other night I just went into the bathroom which is you know i was just like I took a shower right after that i do take showers i know a lot of people have been presuming that i don't take showers i do take showers i took a shower last night i'm about to take a shower tonight too just to really feel that water lubricate across my body and i do wash my feet i have been washing my feet recently um for a long period of time, I didn't wash my feet. I kind of thought it was meta to not wash your feet because if you ever find yourself outside um, and you're walking in the woods or something like that, it'd be better to have to build up a scrudge or whatever the fuck you have on the bottom of your foot. But then I realized I'd probably never find myself in a position to where I'm walking across woods. So I decided that I was going to you know, brush my foot off a little bit with some good soap. Um, Dove sensitive skin is what I use because I think I do have a little bit of sensitive skin. I feel like I'm a sensitive human being. A lot of people might actually say that I'm snatched. A lot of people would say that. I do because hashtag the body unbelievable. Anyway, speaking of body unbelievable, yours is also very unbelievable. Crazy, crazy, crazy bone structure. Matter of fact, you're giving me great bone structure right now by me even smelling the sensation, the aura, the amazingness of your body you look so great and i'm talking about your metaphysical body your astral projection body your body in the theoretical uh obscure realm of of something i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about right now but you're a divine human being i feel like you transcend reality in too many ways and i can smell you right now 
Oh, you smell that good. You got that goodness smell on you. You'll be smelling so good sometimes, and I just be wondering why you smell that good. Why you always smell so good all the time? Always. That's crazy. You got to do something about that. There are too many people out here that be smelling like pure musk bubbles, and you just be smelling good default. Anyway. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.